Ooh. Take those wrestlers. All right. So we did graphs. We did tables. Now we're going to do situation homes. We're writing a linear equation from a real world situation. Once again, we must identify two things. We must identify the slope M and the Y intercept, AKA the initial value. We must have those two things. We always need those two things when writing a linear equation. The good thing is, it's just two things we need. That's it. Some problems, you'll have to go in and do the slope formula, but not all of them. Some of them are pretty straightforward. You, I want you to think about this. You go to the bowling alley. You pay $5 to rent a pair of shoes, and it's $8 per game. One of those numbers is the slope. One of those numbers is the y-intercept. Hold on, some people may already have it, but let me explain how you determine which is which. The y-intercept, AKA the initial value, is the upfront fee, the thing you pay only once. The starting point, the beginning, something like that. The item in the situation that will not change. No matter what happens, that will always be the same. The slope, AKA the constant rate of change, is the item that can change in a situation. This is usually described using words such as per each monthly, daily, yearly. Now, that's not exclusive. Sometimes you will see per next to both of them, but this is not that problem. When we get there, we'll talk about that, all right? But if we look here, I want you guys to think about this rationally. You go to the bowling alley. You rented shoes for $5. Each game costs $8. Which one of those things will you only pay once? The eight or the five? Five. five. The five. You will have to pay that $5 shoe rental fee no matter what. You have to pay five bucks for those stinky shoes. Now, if you just bowl one game, then it's just eight plus five. But if you bowl two games, it's eight times two plus five. If you bowl three games, it's eight times three plus five. So which one of those numbers changes? The eight or the five? five. The, the eight. The eight can change depending on how many games you bowl. So, for the bowling situation, the y-intercept is 5, and the slope is 8. That $5 fee ain't going to change, boo boo. It doesn't matter if you bowl 100 games. It's just 5 bucks for shoes. Can I write the equation? That's too much. And then the equation, Adrian, what's my equation? Uh, y equals 5 and 8 times 8. Okay, let me ask you a question. We're writing a linear equation in this form. Y equals mx plus b. M represents the slope. B represents the y-intercept. Looking at this, we said the y-intercept was 5. The slope was 8. So what should my equation be? Uh, y equals 5. Okay, what is, hold on. What is 5 here? Is 5 the y-intercept or the slope? Look here. What is 5? No, what is 5? The y-intercept is, is... What is it? The y-intercept is... Five. So, is five going to be the B or the M? Okay, what is M? M is the what? The slope. Everyone else, just M. M is the slope. B is the y-intercept. So, is five going to be the y-intercept or the slope? What does it say right here? Is five. So, I'm going to ask you again. Is five the M or the B? Five is the B, which means eight has to be the... M, so what's your equation? Y equals 8x plus 5. Perfect. Y equals 8x plus 5. Don't always assume that slope is the first number you see. It could be the second. It could be anything. You just have to read the question carefully. All right, let's try a couple more here. We got three problems. Designs up. You are making you, for whatever reason, your hobby, is to make bead necklaces. The necklaces always contain 20 spacers and then four beads per inch of necklace, uh, necklace length. So, you got two numbers. Which one of those do you think is going to be your slope and why? My slope? Let's read it again. Read it for me. Actually, here, read it for me, starting with the word duck. The necklaces always contain, tw always contains 20 spacers and four beads per inch of necklace length. Okay, so one of these numbers, the description, tells you it's never going to change. One of them could change, depending on the necklace. Which one of these numbers is never going to change? Um, the 20. The 20, the spacers. Since it's never going to change, is that going to be your slope or your y-intercept? The y-intercept. 
the y-intercept because it's never going to change. You're always going to use 20 spacers for some reason. Even if you make a one-inch necklace, 20 spacers. Really? Really. Why? Because math is crazy. That means your slope has to be four. Here's a key word. Four beads per inch. That means every inch. How many beads are you going to use? Four. Four. So four times one, four times two, four times three, four times four, so on and so forth. What is my equation, Asansa? Um, y equals four x plus one. Perfect. Okay. Good. You want to do the next one? Okay. So, a hummingbird beats its wings at a rate of 150 beats per minute. What is my slope, Roanoma? Uh, the slope is 150. And what's your y-intercept? 60. Let me ask you a question. We're talking about, we're talking about a hummingbird, 150 beats per minute. Before it starts flapping its wings, how many beats per minute? When it's on the ground, when it's, before it's taken off? Well, zero. Zero. So my y-intercept there is zero. You have to think of this real-world scenario. Let's say in this. In the sky, 150 beats per minute. Let's say he was sitting on a branch. Is he beating his wings? No, so it would start at zero. So my y-intercept is zero, which means the equation is gonna be what? Uh, y equals um, 150 x. Perfect. Y equals 150 x. Colton. Eh. Eh. The last one, dude. Billy, hi Billy. Billy goes to Crystal Lake Campground. He pays $32 for each night plus a one time trash disposal fee of $11, hombre. What's your slope? What's your wine set? What's your equation? Tell me now. The slope is 11, the wine is 32, and the equation is y equals 11x plus 32. Okay, let's pause. Let's read it for me. Read me the scenario. Billy gets to Crystal Lake Campground and pays $32 for each night plus a one-time trash disposal fee of the lifestyle. Okay, so remember that the slope can change. The y-intercept cannot. So reading that scenario, which one of those things is always going to be the same? Did I mess it up? Yes. Oh. So which one of those is always going to be the same? The 11. The 11. It's a one-time. Keywords, one-time. If you pay something one-time, do you pay more than once? No. No, that's why it's called a one-time one fee. So the y-intercept's 11. This can change because you're paying $32. What's my keyword? Each. $32 for each night. So that can change. One night, 32. Two nights, 64. Three nights, 96. So on and so forth. Which means that your equation, Ms. Davis, is what? Y equals 32x plus 11. Y equals 32x plus 11. Yes! 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 Hercules! Hercules! <laughs> Questions? What? You never saw the clubs? With Eddie Murphy? No. Wait till you know you're old. No, it came out like four. Well, like four. You know you're old. Questions, questions, questionings. No, sir. Right, then this old timer right here is going to change the slide. Ah. Ah. <laughs> I get it. You need help? Ah.